hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about who has their eyes on you so we'll be using the radiant wise spirit tarot for the card selections so who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you so we have seven of cups that's pile number two because pile number one is the judgment okay so pile number one judgment pile number two seven of cups and pile number three okay no, that's too many cards just one pile number three okay what do we have we have the ace of cups okay pile number three so pile number one we have judgment okay pile number two we have the seven of cups and pile number three we have the ace of cups okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your time stamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your pile hi pal one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number one you pick the judgment card and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? Okay, so I'm getting that there has been some misjudgment here maybe this person misjudged you or you misjudged this person okay but what they're seeing and their first initial um, impression of you is totally different this is what i'm getting here with the judgment okay so one or the both of you misjudged each other So who has their eyes on you wow we have the ace of pentacles so this person definitely wants to come in with an offer who has their eyes on you what do we have here you see seven of wands defensiveness on guard that's why i was getting misjudgment like i feel like either like i'm getting like it's this person who misjudged you with the seven of wands okay maybe they um had like some sort of maybe at the beginning when you guys initially met um you guys were not seeing eye to eye um i'm also getting maybe you guys were like yeah either we're not seeing eye to eye or you got off on the wrong foot i'm getting with the seven of wands who has their eyes on you yeah we have six of swords okay so maybe this person is at a distance or you guys met while you guys were traveling or you were traveling okay but i'm getting like uh, maybe this person's a foreigner as well we have the two wands this is somebody who likes to travel for sure yeah i'm getting like you guys uh got off on the wrong foot when you guys initially met okay maybe you guys met at uh, some sort of gathering you met either overseas or through mutual friends but the first initial reaction when you guys initially met it was not like uh, it was not a mutual attraction okay it was definitely either this person judged you or you judged this person and you guys were not getting along okay so i'm also getting this person got the wrong impression of you as well okay 
so who has their eyes on you yeah this person with the um page of pentacles maybe um they were keeping you at arm's length with the page of pentacles or are they acting like very distant or just reserved when they were around your energy but this is definitely somebody that you know okay who has their eyes on you yeah we have the four okay four of cups maybe this person seems bored or maybe they thought that you were boring okay with the four of cups and we have the two of swords two of swords is an energy of being a stalemate not being not making a choice um also pleasing others okay not being able to stand up for yourself so i feel like this person definitely i'm getting that they misjudged you they like they thought something um of you like i'm getting less of you or maybe they caught you off guard or they caught you on a day maybe on that day you were moody or on that day you were not feeling well or you were having a bad day so they judged you based on that experience that they had with you and i'm also getting like yeah like boring or just yeah i'm getting like that boring vibe with the four of cups okay this person that's what they thought of you at first we have the king of pentacles i'm getting with the king of pentacles that's more your energy maybe you are somebody who always oh, very serious or very disciplined in your approach with the king of pentacles so this person may have gotten the vibe that you are just too serious all the time with the king of pentacles but they never got to see the side of you that's fun that's outgoing okay maybe they saw you in a crisis or they saw you going through some sort of situation okay i'm really getting like you may have met this person through friends or mutual acquaintances yeah you see judgment this person judged you and i'm really getting they misjudged you okay who has their eyes on you we have the eight of pentacles and we have the high priestess in reverse so maybe this person thought you had hidden agenda or you were not um, in touch with your intuition or you're too i just heard domesticated which is not something that you would say to somebody you would say that to an animal like a dog or a cat or like domesticated in the sense that you're more like a homebody and it can make sense with the king of pentacles that's what i'm getting here but we have the eight of pentacles like maybe this person thought you were a perfectionist you don't want to make mistakes we have the high priestess or maybe you had something to hide like i said this person did not um see you for who you really are but now that i'm getting like they're intrigued this is what i'm the vibe that i'm getting from this person this was like their first initial impression of you and this was like the first interaction with you it was not a good one you guys were both on guards okay it could have been like a crisis where you guys were interacting with each other and maybe this person um like either they rubbed you the wrong way or you rubbed them the wrong way or it could be like both of you guys just clashed maybe because you guys have similar personalities i'm getting and this is why it clashed you see we have the three of cups we have the five of wands you see challenge we have the death card ending we have the five of pentacles and we have the wheel of fortune i'm not going to take all of them but you see there's there was challenges like maybe you guys were amongst friends it could have been like a friend of a friend and you guys were out partying and then something happened and then there was like a crisis when you guys were out and maybe you took charge you took the lead and maybe this person did not really like that or they did not like the way you were taking charge okay who has their eyes on you but now they're having a second opinion you see we have the nine of swords but it's in reverse nine of swords upright is having a lot of anxiety sleepless nights okay um racing thoughts but in uh, reverse is like healing from those thoughts healing from the anxiety okay so maybe it was an anxious situation and you handle it well and maybe this person did not handle the situation well and you guys probably just clashed okay i'm really getting like you guys um initially met in a crisis it's not like you guys met in the midst of the crisis you guys met and then the crisis happened the same night or the same like evening you guys met and then you guys kind of like rubbed each other the wrong way or they rubbed you the wrong way who has their eyes on you but i feel like like i said this person's intrigued you see we have the hype the empress now okay 
So this person I'm getting with the Empress, this person could be, um, they could be a Taurus or they could be a Libra. Maybe they are more on the like um, soft side, okay? Maybe they're not very um, outgoing. Maybe they're more laid back, okay? With the high, with the Empress, and you're more like the King of Pentacles, where you take charge. You're more um, like structured. You're more disciplined in your approach with the King of Pentacles. You're definitely compassionate, but you don't mind taking charge like a boss. And maybe this person, they they rather be on the back end and just lean back and allow things to happen for them while you rather like take the bull by its horn that's what i'm getting here okay and this is why you guys kind of clashed okay so who has yeah we have the um emperor no that's not the emperor sorry this is the queen of wands and we have the nine of cups but this person is now seeing you as the wish fulfillment okay doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man here this person is more on the receptive side okay with the empress they like to receive they like to be pampered they don't like to i feel like this person does not um not that they don't handle crisis situation well it's just that they don't really like to be in that type of environment they like to things to be graceful and flow naturally for them with the empress okay and maybe you are more like okay there's a situation there's a crisis let's handle it let's tackle it hands on okay and this person like maybe they were not helping there was something that they did that you guys were just crashing with each other okay when you guys initially met but now they're having a second opinion of you okay with the queen of wands now they're seeing you as somebody who is fiery somebody who is passionate somebody who is really loyal to their friends loyal to any cause that they really believe in and they're definitely seeing you for who you truly are with the nine of cups so now they're seeing you as like wish fulfillment that's why they have their eyes on you now they're realizing that they misjudged you okay i'm really getting misjudgment here you see we have the emperor i'm telling you see we have the empress and the emperor whether you're male or female here, I feel like when you guys initially met, you were more operating in the emperor energy. While this person was operating in the empress energy, it doesn't matter their sex, it's just the energy that they were operating in, okay? I'm not saying that the empress does not take charge, but I'm getting this person, they were operating in the empress where she's more laid back, she's more receptive, she doesn't take charge when it comes to like crisis, she allows the emperor to take the lead okay whenever you are in the connection but in the crisis you needed this person to actually act okay and not be passive this person was being passive this is what i'm getting here and i hope you guys understand i'm not saying that the empress is a passive energy but this person was acting in the passive energy when they were in the crisis and that's why you guys clashed okay because the empress and the emperor are divine counterparts they definitely mesh well together but one when one energy is not operating at its full capacity is not like in the highest energy so this is what i'm getting this person was not operating in the highest energy of the empress and you guys were not meshing well okay so who has their eyes on you we have the ten of pentacles okay this person definitely sees you as somebody that they can build a foundation with because of like the initial um like night that you guys met this is what i'm getting they've seen your power they've seen your strength okay they just um did not appreciate it in the moment because of like how like you express your power but now this person is getting to know you or maybe have asked about you and now they're seeing that you are definitely wish fulfillment that's why they have their eyes on you they're taking notes okay they're having a second opinion and you see we have the nine of pentacles you are a legible bachelor you are self-sufficient okay i feel like these are all the qualities that initially this person did not like about you but now they're starting to like these about you because they are like definitely watching you okay they're getting to know a little bit more about you maybe you guys after this incident went out a couple of times amongst friends and this person was invited and they got to see who you truly were as a person and you who you truly are and not like the initial um 
experience that they had the night of a crisis okay where you really had to take charge you really had to take control of the situation before it got hot out of hand this is what i'm getting here okay it could have been like you know somebody almost got into an altercation with someone else because they were too drunk or you know like some situation like that this is what i'm getting here okay and you came through but this person was like caught off guard or like i'm getting like this person was acting like like a little diva i have to be honest this person was acting like a little diva and this is the reason why you guys probably like uh, butt heads that day okay so who has their eyes on you my pal number one yeah you see five of wands challenges ace of wands eight of wands wow a lot of fire here it was fiery you see five of wands i'm telling you there was definitely a challenge when you guys met and we have the ace of wands but i feel like this person even though there was the challenge and there was obstacles and there was like you know this crisis this person was still turned on by you but it's just like maybe the way you spoke to this person or the way you interacted with this person they didn't really like it initially but after the fact when they think back of the situation they've seen that the way you acted was the right response in the moment it wasn't like you're trying to be mean or you're trying to be rude or you're trying to be bossy it was just like the situation was calling you to you know step up into that role okay and this like i said this person did not like it yeah we have the eight of wands this person definitely wants to communicate with you but i feel like with the five of wands they they might feel like it's a challenge because of the initial like situation where you guys met okay this is like where this person's hesitant like they're wondering oh is this person still gonna want to talk to me after what happened when we had that night of the crisis like i know they're still cool whenever i see them or whenever we hang out with all our friends this person's still cool but would they still want to be interested in me in that way this is what i'm getting here okay with the ace of wands this person is um very attracted to you with the ace of wands yeah, they're patiently waiting for the right moment with the seven of pentacles okay so we're going to be using my initials just to see um who this person could be just to get confirmation of who they might be okay so spirit who has their eyes on my pal number one who has their eyes on my pal number one Okay, so we have double L, E, M, F, C, double C, A, B, U, E, F, T, O, J, C, D, K, U, W, X, J, o k d h r b o e d e t r f k s l and x okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you picked the seven of cups and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings okay so my pal number two who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you okay so what I'm getting with the seven of cups this person may have like multiple options when it comes to love but I'm getting that 
you're the main focus okay you're the main person that they're watching right now with the seven of cups okay they're definitely watching you like a hawk i'm getting they may be watching you on social media but they have like other options when it comes to romantic partnership but so far you're the main one that they want okay like they may be dating multiple people they could even be dating you okay but this person has their eyes on you because they feel like you are the best option for them okay so who has their eyes on you wow we have the empress this person could be a Taurus or a Libra, or it could be a Taurus or a Libra here. We have the Four of Pentacles. I'm getting that this person definitely sees you as the Empress. They feel like you are extremely beautiful, extremely attractive, okay? Um, Self-sufficient, independent. You see we have the Moon card, so they're definitely watching you in secret. This could also be somebody who's financially stable with the Ten of Pentacles, but they definitely wanna come in and offer you um, like their cup of love with the four of pentacles. I'm getting like this person is a little bit on the reserve side Okay, but they're also a little bit possessive. Okay, I feel like this person could be a little bit jealous as well Because I feel like they're watching you online and they're seeing you getting a lot of attention from people with the empress Okay, you get a lot of attention. Maybe you get a lot of comments on your pictures or you're an um, a youtuber you are an influencer so you get a lot of attention from your fans from your followers and this person I feel like they don't really like that that's why they're staying in the shadows in the dark they're trying to study they're trying to analyze you so that way they can know how to come towards you they do have other options but I don't feel like their options that they have are as good as you okay this is what this person think okay so who has their eyes on you so we have the eight of cups so the eight of cups is like emotional withdrawn walking away we have four swords four swords could represent putting something to rest or um, meditating and contemplating on an idea before you taking a leap so i feel like this person um maybe you walked away from this person or they walked away from you emotionally withdrawn or this person just came out of a relationship where they were not satisfied and this is the vibe I'm getting like more that they were in a relationship and they weren't satisfied with the person that they're with this is why now they're exploring their options they're exploring other options but I'm not getting this person is in a relationship and actively looking for someone else they actually left this connection because it wasn't going anywhere okay who has their eyes on you my pal number two who has their eyes on you what do we have here we have the page of pentacles so i'm getting that with the page of pentacles this person may want to start small they want to start as a friend with the page of pentacles okay they want to get to know you as a friend before they move to the next level with you they don't want to rush the process this is somebody who is actually very reserved okay like i'm getting like they could be a little bit shy as well maybe they fear rejection who has their eyes on you we have wow the sun leo energy so this person could definitely be a leo or you're the leo here okay so this person i i feel like even though they're on the reserve side they may have a lot of eyes on them as well with the sun this is why they have a lot of options but i feel like this person's picky because the four of pentacles can represent somebody who is picky as well okay they don't just deal with anybody so i'm getting that vibe from this person this is the reason why they are watching you and they want to get to know you as a friend before they commit themselves fully to you or before they even extend like some sort of relationship or partnership with you okay this is somebody who is extremely successful because i'm getting that they are financially stable as well so they don't want for nothing yeah you see we have the nine of pentacles they are they live a life of luxury they are self-employed with the nine of pentacles and you see we have the lovers gemini energy this person could be a gemini or have gemini in their chart or you could be the gemini but this person wants to make a choice like i said they have options so they you're like the number one choice okay they're evaluating their options and who they've been dating and they definitely see you as like the main thing or the best choice for them 
okay i'm really getting that vibe from this person they are fruitful this is not somebody who wants anything from a relationship other than companionship other than love things that money can't buy okay this is what this person wants who has their eyes you see they're spying on you with the page of swords i told you guys this person's watching you online they're studying you with the page of swords okay who has their eyes on you who has their eyes there's another card that flipped over okay who has their eyes on you just one card please who has their eye thank you we have the strength card leo energy again so this person could definitely be a leo or have leo in their chart this person's courageous they have a lot of integrity as well they do the right thing this is the reason why they broke up with their person whoever they were with before they broke up with this person before they start exploring their options okay this person is not a cheater they don't like to do the, anything under the veil they like to do things by the book okay this is somebody who could be traditional as well i'm getting committed they're very they're extremely passionate too but it, they're just on a little picky and um like more on the shy side too even though they have a lot of attention on them they're still shy who has their eyes on you my pal number two yeah we have the eight of wands that flew out this person definitely wants to come in and communicate with you they want to express how they feel they're extremely passionate about you and this is also someone who likes to travel they could also be at a distance from you maybe like in the same city but just not in the same neighborhood who has their eyes on you? Yeah, you see, we have the two wands. They're thinking. They're thinking about coming towards you with the two wands. They want to make that move. Who has their eyes on you? Star. Didn't I say this person could be popular? I'm really getting that vibe. They have a healing energy to them. Yeah, I'm really getting like popular vibe from this person, okay? Like I said, even though they're popular, that doesn't mean that this person likes to be in the scene with just anybody, okay? They are very cautious about the energy that they have around them. Because we have the Nine of Pentacles. They have something to lose. Like, they have, like, you know, they build something for themselves. They build a name for themselves, okay? This is somebody who probably has their own business on the side and they work a regular 9 to 5. Or they just have their own job. They have, like, you know, they create their own business i mean sorry not job but their own business and they may have hired other people to work with them so i'm getting like definitely a pioneer entrepreneur type of person okay who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you what do we have here we have the two pentacles yeah they're juggling a lot they have multiple things going on at once with the nine uh with the two of pentacles yeah this is somebody who's busy they don't really have time to play games or yeah like they're serious once they they like somebody or once they're invested in something they put all of their time and effort into it okay yeah we have the page of pentacles again yeah this person wants to be your friend and for some of you, this person could already be your friend, but you don't know that they have their eyes on you. They may have come um, under the, the guise that disguise that they just want to be friends, but this person is wants to be your friend just to get close enough to you to get to know you on a deeper level. Okay, they're trying to be slick. Okay, they want to be your friend, and then you know if like it goes well and this person really likes you as a friend, they want to make a move and become your lover. Okay. But if it doesn't work out or you guys are just not on the same page, this person is not like they're going to leave and not be your friend anymore. They'll still remain your friend, but they won't try to make a move on you. This is what I'm getting. Okay. So who has their eyes? Wow. We have the nine of cups. This person definitely sees you as wish fulfillment. Who has their eyes on you? Just one more card. Yeah. We have the page of wands. This person could be a little bit younger than you. Okay, I'm getting like this person has a flamboyant energy. Not energy, sorry, flamboyant personality. Yeah, that Leo energy, okay? Very optimistic, outgoing, okay, passionate. This is what I'm getting from this person. 
so who has oh we have six of pentacles they equally want to give to you yeah this person is generous who has their eyes on you we have the queen of wands yeah this person is definitely a fire sign with the queen of wands or just have fire in their chart yeah this is somebody who's passionate extremely passionate about their goals extremely passionate about what they do okay they like passion in their life this is why they're picky they don't want anybody who's boring nobody that's dull nobody that doesn't have like this person wants somebody who has like a sense of adventure somebody who has gold okay a goal getter this is what this person likes yes they like a person that is also humbled and you know a homebody like you know likes to spend time alone likes to go out on picnics and stuff like that but they like somebody who has ambition just like them because they're the nine of pentacles this is somebody who is like they're not lazy nine of pentacles is not a lazy energy this is somebody who is definitely determined self-sufficient okay go after their dreams they're practical in their approach very extremely intelligent so that's what they want and that's the reason why i'm getting this person wants to be your friend or is already your friend just to see if you possess those same qualities to see if you guys are a match okay that's why they have their eyes on you see king of swords i'm telling you this person is analyzing you with the king of swords this is somebody who's extremely intelligent okay they like intelligent conversation they are wise as well because we have the owl right here this person is extremely wise. They know what they're doing, okay? They like to think um, think things ahead of time, okay? They don't like to, um, they like to be prepared. They don't like last minute things or last minute changes, okay? Yeah, they're hoping to, they're hoping that you are the person that they think you are with the wheel of fortune, okay? They definitely want to have a chance with you. Now we have the page of pentacles again, three times. Yeah, this person is either a friend or wants to be your friend. And I opened the deck three of cups. I'm telling you. Yeah, this person wants to be your friend first though. They're like close to you, closer than you think. This person that has their eyes on you, okay? So we'll be using my initials just to get confirmation of who this person could be, okay? So who has their eyes on you? my pal number two so who has their eyes on you my pal number two we have c k u v u s r j h f z v e x n l w y n k b l v k n e double s b L O S W C Q D and L. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi Pal3, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you pick the Ace of Cups and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So pal number three, who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? With the ace of cups, this person's in love with you. My pal number three. 
they have a lot of love for you okay this is somebody who definitely wants to extend their cup to you okay they are extremely romantic they could be a water sign so cancer pisces scorpio don't have to be or you could be the cancer pisces scorpio so who has their eyes on you but i'm getting romantic feelings from this person wow Ooh, six of cups guys it could be somebody from your past or somebody that feels like they have an instant connection with you i feel like you are in contact with this person with the six of cups you give them nostalgic feelings wow we have the ten of cups oh this person's daydreaming about you daydreaming about you you know the song that just popped in my head as i said that rendezvous um craig david okay guys go listen to that song this is how this person feels oh my god who has their eyes on you wow this person mm, definitely an emperor okay divine counterpart this is how this person feels about you a lot of love who has their eyes on you what do we have here that flew over there wow we have the star this person could be popular or you could be the one who's popular here with the star you could be in the spotlight this person could be um um aquarius or um aries or have both in their chart yeah this is like somebody who is very romantic they like to take charge they're definitely a leader this could be somebody from your past that you may have rejected pile number three Mm -mm. but i like this person's energy they have a really beautiful energy yeah we have the hermit okay they like to spend a lot of time alone and we have the ten of pentacles that flew out of the deck both cards flew out of the deck as i was shuffling yeah so this is somebody who takes really good care of their health with the hermit card they like to spend a lot of time alone this is somebody who's extremely wise too okay with the Ten of Cups, I feel like this person definitely sees family with you, sees a bond with you. For some of you, it could be like somebody that you are currently dating, currently seeing, and they see potential in this connection. They see this uh, connection growing to the next level. Or this is somebody who wants to ask you out on a date and they have their eyes on you, okay? Um, I'm really getting this person is in like a leadership position. Who has their eyes on you? They like to take control. Yeah, this person wants to take a leap of faith. We have the fool here. They definitely want to take a leap of faith towards you. They have been observing you from afar too. Okay, it could also be somebody that you had like some sort of brief encounter, brief conversation with, okay? You may see them at a coffee shop often, but you... Maybe you haven't spoken to this person on a deeper level, just high and by because you guys see each other around the same time at the coffee shop or at a specific location where you frequent most of the time, okay? So it could be like the grocery store. For some of you, it could be the laundromat. I don't know why I got the laundromat, but that's for somebody specific. Maybe there's a guy at your laundromat that's always eyeing you and then he's cute but he's quiet just observing you you know you say hi make sure that you know you're okay but they never talk to you more than that so i'm getting that vibe as well but they definitely have this strong presence to them you could tell that they work out and you could tell that they may know a lot of people they may even know the owner of the laundry mat or they could be the owner on the down low and don't even they didn't tell you but i'm really getting that vibe okay who has their eyes on you yeah we have the eight of pentacles this is somebody who is extremely dedicated to their craft this is somebody who's invested they're extremely skilled and it makes sense because if they are the emperor they have to be skilled they have to be talented in order to be the emperor okay the emperor is not just anybody this is somebody who had to work really hard to get to that level boss like energy okay Okay, so who has their eyes on you? We have the King of Cups and nice. So this person has feelings for you a lot, like deep emotions. This person is highly intuitive as well with the King of Cups. And I did say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio at the beginning. So this person could definitely have water in their chart. I'm getting like water moon. So they're highly intuitive. 
yeah they're like mysterious i'm getting that uh, scorpio vibe mysterious but very strong presence like they have those piercing eyes like you feel like they could see you like see through your soul this is the vibe i'm getting from this person who has their eyes okay what do we have here Ooh, five of wands five of wands is challenge Ooh, okay there's definitely a challenge here maybe this person feels like there could be a challenge communicating with you talking to you who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you we have the magician yeah there's definitely some sort of obstacle okay between you and this person with the five like they definitely feel like it's an obstacle talking to you or a challenge talking to you maybe i feel like maybe every time that you guys um this person's trying to approach you you're either preoccupied with something or there's always somebody around you or like there's something that's always stopping you guys from coming together or talking okay either like they're always catching you at the wrong time this is what I'm getting here. They're trying to manifest a time where they could talk to you, actually take the time to ask you out where it's like um, comfortable for the both of you. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, they definitely want to ask you out. Yeah, we have the world here. Ooh, maybe this person's a foreigner with the world. That could be the challenge. Maybe for them, they perceive this as a challenge maybe they could be from another city or they're not from your town or they don't live in your town and maybe it could be long distance okay i'm getting like maybe this person only sees you when they come visit they may be visiting an aunt an uncle so they may not come from the same city as you or the challenge could be if they are a foreigner they could be from a different country or you know they could be like you could be white or they could be black or you know whatever it is like this person perceives as a challenge maybe for you it doesn't matter what color this person is but for it's not that it matters for them but they may perceive this as a challenge that you may reject them because of that okay this is what i'm getting here so who has their eyes on you yeah you see we have the seven of wands that came out seven of wands defensiveness obstacles barriers wow we have oh wow seven of swords and six of cups mm -mm. okay seven of swords is like trying to get away with something lying cheating deceptive energy but we have the six of cups the six of cups is like energy of the past i feel like this person knows you from the past but they're trying to get away with something okay let me ask what is the seven of swords spirit can you confirm can you clarify the seven of swords what is the seven of swords we have the page of cups and what do we have here Ooh, maybe this person used to be a player okay maybe they have like their past yes it could be their past because we have the knight of cups and knight of cups is a is a charmer smooth operator okay who tells you exactly what you want and the king of wands could represent somebody who is very attractive and i did tell you guys this person is popular this could be somebody from your past that you never knew had their eyes on you okay like it could be like what i'm getting here like um maybe in high school like this person was maybe like okay high school is like i don't know for every country but i know in canada it's like grade seven like it's junior high grade seven but in in french we merge junior high and high school together so grade seven to grade 12. so i feel like maybe this person was like you were in grade seven or grade eight or grade nine and this person was in grade 12 so they're already like you know their last year of high school they you know they were probably very popular in high school and everybody knew them but they had like this bad reputation that now they're trying to get away from and i'm getting with the five of wands this person is trying to like maybe in the past like they were not really that good of a person and now they're grown up they worked on themselves with the eight of pentacles 
and this person i feel like they're trying to get away with that get away from that or they don't want to bring up their past because out of fear uh, that you may not that you may reject them with the five of pentacles they know that it's a challenge because their past they have a bad past i'm really getting this is like a, somebody who played women or played men like a like a joke okay they had that period of like f boy this is what i'm getting from this person okay f boy f boy vibe but that was in the past they've changed but because you know this person maybe you don't recognize them now because you guys were kids you were in high school and you were really younger than this person so you may not remember them okay but they remember you that's what i'm getting here and they definitely have their eyes on you okay they're trying to get away from that oh that's really up to you if you want to accept this person if they come up to you and want to get to know you they definitely have a lot of feelings for you but just be mindful that this person has a past that they were definitely a player a, a definitely don juan type of energy okay um oh my god i just heard something but i don't know if i should say it oh my gosh so who Ooh, the devil just came out mm -mm, this person is sexy dangerous seductive they use their looks to get what they want from people they used to do that in the past but no longer they grown up okay i'm really this person matured and they grew up but you know what i'm getting okay so if you guys ever watch that movie um think like a man and act like a lady the actual movie i think it's in the second one zeke the freak <laughs> guys i'm sorry if i'm laughing but i'm getting that vibe from this person okay so if you don't know the movie maybe you should watch it but the the actor well not the actor but the the character was zeke that's the name of the guy okay so who has okay we have the six of pentacles now they want to equally give this person is they've changed they've matured this is what i'm getting here so it's really up to you you see king of wands you see this king of wands Look how he looks good. I'm telling you, this person's good looking, you know, popular. All the girls wanted them back in the days. They still want him now, but now he's not about that life anymore. He wants something serious. He wants somebody mature. He wants to establish a connection with somebody. He wants something solid. And he definitely has his eyes on you, okay? Or she has her eyes on you. But it's really up to you if you're going to take this person. I'm not getting washed up player or washed up. No, I'm not getting that vibe at all from this person. They, they turned their life around at the right moment. Okay? They turned their life around. They turned everything around. It's just that they still have that past where they're not really proud of themselves. Okay? This person is not proud of like, you know, breaking people's heart or being that heartbreaker or, you know, being that F boy or that F girl. They're not proud of that. I'm not getting that vibe. Okay? who has their eyes yeah you see they've healed the star i'm telling you they've changed they went through some sort like yeah they four of wands they want they want love they want the real deal they realize that they you know their the errors of their ways and what they were doing to people was wrong and they didn't feel proud of themselves okay it was maybe like you know in high school Sometimes you do things that you're not so proud of and this person realized that, you know, how they were reacting, how they were doing certain things were not right and they definitely want to change things. They want to turn their life around. They definitely have other options. Like they definitely have people that still want them and still want to be with them, but they remind them of his past or her past. And this person, they definitely see a future with you. They see something abundant with you, something brand new, okay? Something that they could like, definitely be proud of okay this is what i'm getting from this person okay it's really up to you if you're going to give them a chance okay so we're going to be using my initials just to see get confirmation of who this person could be so who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you Okay, so we have A, Q, F, D, L, R, um, S, K, N, A, U, N, G, A, Z, 
S, um, X, K, F, C, F, C, again, wow, um, A, B, I, C, E, and then we have S again, D, W, A, M, C, Y, T, A, F, R, L, T, F, W, R, Q, C, N, and B. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye!